So can binaural beats make you high or help you to hallucinate? This is a question I got asked in a few comments the other day, and the short answer is no, they can't make you hallucinate as such, unless you do one particular thing, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. And in terms of making you high, when people say the word high, in reference to this sort of thing, they, they normally mean like, can it create an insane sense of euphoria and make you feel really good? In that sense, yes, it can. Yes, you know, certain types of binaural beats can do that, but it won't be quite the same as, you know, a lot of recreational drugs and things like that, which have more of an effect. And in many ways, that's a good thing because what a lot of these, you know, recreational things do is they overload the dopamine system to the point where if you keep doing it, you'll develop a tolerance, which is not a good thing. In any situation where you're increasing your tolerance to something, you need more and more of that thing, that substance or whatever it is, to get the same or diminishing returns. So over you know, a long period of time, you get addicted, you build up the tolerance, and it's not good. It's really not a good thing. However, binaural beats, usually, uh, as far as I'm aware, they have almost no side effects unless you have a pre-existing condition relating to your, like, your hearing or epilepsy or something like that. And they're, in many cases, free, widely available on YouTube. Uh, the best quality ones usually are the ones you actually have to pay for because uh, when you upload a binaural beat to YouTube, it kind of down codes it a bit and the, the quality and the effect is nowhere near what you would experience if you downloaded the track from you know, the producer, uh, the actual website instead of just on YouTube. But they can increase dopamine and endorphins, which are two of the kind of feel good chemicals or hormones. Uh, so the effect of that, you know, the feeling that you will get is you will, with certain binaural beats, you will feel euphoric, uh, high, I guess you could say. You will feel like really happy, intensely, um, just blissed out, I guess you could say. I don't really know what the right word is for that. Um, and yeah, I've experienced this myself. I know a lot of people who have done the same. Depends on the type of binaural beats, so not all of them have this effect. But if you get the right ones, you know, there's ones for literally for feeling good or feeling happy, you know, anti-depression binaural beats. These things are all out there and you can experiment with them yourself. Even the free ones on YouTube, they do kind of work. They just don't work as well as some of the paid ones, in my experience at least. Now, can a binaural beat make you hallucinate? Not really, uh, or at least not until you add the visual aspect as well. So what I mean by that is you have really, you have two options if you want to hallucinate using binaural beats, you have the first option, which is to induce kind of like a Gansfield effect. So for those who don't know, the Gansfield experiment was when they took essentially like two halves of a ping pong ball. Um, I don't know if that's how, what they use, but that's basically what it was, two kind of semicircle spheres of plastic, put them over people's eyes and, you know, left them alone to see what would happen. And over, you know, the course of a few minutes, half an hour, one or two hours, the people in this experiment, they would really vividly hallucinate because when your mind or when your brain doesn't have stimuli coming in, especially if it's a Gansfield effect, so it's like everything's white, but you can't really focus on anything, you'll hallucinate really vividly. And you can try this yourself if you have a couple of ping pong balls lying around. Um, if not, there are a couple of dollars on Amazon. And this effect is really interesting. Now, what some um, machines can do and you've heard me talk in, in the past on this channel about mind machines. A mind machine is like a device which combines binaural beats with a Gansfield effect. So they have these goggles that you put on. If you've never heard of this before, by the way, just go to my channel now, or maybe I'll put it in the description. Just type in mind machine, uh, or even just go, go and search my channel for machine, and all of the videos I have about these things will pop up, um, where I, like, I show you them, show you how they work, the flashing lights and everything. But basically what it is is the goggles that you put on they have been algorithmically tied to the binaural beats so that it shows you a series of flashing colored lights, basically, in these goggles, and that can have a hallucinogenic effect. And uh, in many cases, especially with some of the newer ones, like um, the Mind Place Lamina, and again, I have videos uh, going into lots of detail on these things on my channel, they really can have an interesting hallucinogenic effect. Now, it's nothing like a real hallucinogen. I think I'm saying that right, hallucinogen. Um, but it's definitely interesting. But that's not really the reason that you would use that, okay? I mean, you might just do it for fun. <laughs> Maybe you came onto this video just looking for some, like a fun way to hallucinate. It can kind of have that effect, but the real reason you would use it is for the actual changes it makes to your brain waves. And in that sense, they really can help you feel or perform better. So 
if you're looking for binaural beats that will make you, I guess you could say, high or, you know, will make you feel happier, less depressed, more energetic, more blissed out, then there are loads to choose from. I have spent a long time going through these things and testing different ones, and I've got a list of the best ones. Uh, I kind of reviewed them all on my website, howtolucid.com. Um, I'll try and put a link in the description to that, but if not, you just go to my channel and just type in binaural. So hopefully that's helped. If you do have any questions, let me know in this video and I'll make a new response to it, and I'd love to hear what you think. So see you next time.